It's funny to me how many fake stories on alt-right and right-wing news sites are being released about Facebook. Yep, fake news stories complaining about a company that wants to stop fake news stories. Surprise, surprise, surprise. What I find humorous is that the sites that appear to be screaming the loudest are Russian sites. Look, yes, it's true that Facebook is going to be trying to block fake news. What they are not going to be trying to do is block right-wing and alt-right sources simply for being alt-right or right-wing. That's simply not in the plans. If those of us on the left are supposed to wait until Trump starts implementing horrible things to say bad things about him, then the right and alt-right and Alex Jones conspiracy nuts should do the same with Facebook. Be aware that there are many left-wing sources that will be affected by this as well. Lists of fake news sites that have been released over the past month have pretty much always included a lot of left-wing sources. Remember that. Now, if some of you on the right want to declare that simply listing the people that Trump wants in his cabinet is actually fake news, then yeah, you're going to be disappointed. If you want to declare that just giving the history of the people that Trump wants to put in his cabinet is fake news, then yeah, you're going to be disappointed. Real news flash. That's not fake news, that's actual news. Unless Trump is flat out lying about who he's saying he's putting in his cabinet. But even then, it still wouldn't be fake news as people are simply reporting who Trump says he wants in his cabinet. If you want to declare that any media source that talks about the CIA's findings is fake news unless it makes the absolutist statement that the CIA is wrong, then yeah, you're going to be disappointed. Declaring what the CIA is stating is not the same thing as saying that the CIA is right. But stories that say that Trump is definitively a racist with nothing to back it up, yeah, those should be blocked. Stories that say that Trump's entire goal is to take away LGBT rights, then yeah, those should be blocked. Just as stories that say that Obama is a Muslim who doesn't care about the United States should be blocked, stories saying that Obama and Hillary are going to take away your guns should be blocked, and stories declaring that the entire goal and premise of feminism is to destroy men's rights and create a matriarchy are probably going to be blocked as well. Fact-checking is a good thing, and if this fact-checking weeds out more right-wing or alt-right or conspiracy theory sources than left-wing sources, then so be it. It's not the left's fault that the right has gotten so used to putting out lies and slander for so long. And yes, the left has put out lies as well, but not nearly at the rate that the right does. Sorry, but that's just the honest truth. So if you're one of these people saying, Facebook is out to stop the alt-right through censorship, maybe you should actually do some fact-checking on these Breitbart-style, Infowars-style, Russia Today-style websites that you find so wonderful. Maybe you should hold those sites accountable for what they say, instead of being worried that your beloved partisan shit sites might not get as much publicity as they once did. I know that's asking a lot for you to hold the same standards to the right as you do the left, but if you don't want to be a partisan hack, it's kind of necessary.